Hello! Today I'm going to help my best friend. Her mom has been in a, uh, like a rehab, a rehabilitation facility. She broke her femur bone, her leg, and she's been there for like a month now. And today she's getting released and my friend asked if I could, look at the stain, my friend asked if I could come and uh, help her mom get out of the rehab facility because she doesn't have anybody to help her. And I said, of course, that's what friends are for. But what my friend doesn't know is how miserable I feel right now going through detox. I didn't know that having tremors was a thing with um, detoxing from marijuana, but I guess it is. Having the shakes, having the sweats, insomnia, irritability, anxiety, all that stuff. I haven't felt anxiety. Um... I actually kind of feel like marijuana would give me anxiety, but I definitely feel um, I've had outbursts of rage, which is not feminine at all. Uh, I'm sorry for that to the people who had to suffer from my unable to control my emotions, letting my emotions control me, so that is 100% my fault. I have to take accountability for that. Yeah, I'm just... <sighs> I have never felt so uncomfortable, but I really feel like how I'm feeling now is like how I'm probably going to feel around menopause age, so I'm just preparing. Hey, there's us on TV. I'm just preparing myself right now. Or I'm just preparing myself. I'm just, I'm so out of it. See, I, I can't even fucking focus. Uh, but I will be able to focus as soon as I get sober. So I gotta head over to my girlfriend's right now, um, yeah, I'm just, look at me, I'm all over the place. So I feel like this detox is <laughs> showing me what menopause is gonna be like. <sighs> but having the sweats and all that, having these symptoms means that it is getting out of your system. Um, I don't want it a part of my system, it's proving how addicted I was to it. Oh my god, I'm looking for my phone and I'm recording on it right now. This is how I... Woohoo! Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Alright, Lord be with me. Help me be focused so I can drive, be a nice safe driver to my friend's house to protect me and protect others around me. Keep me focused. This is day five detox. Fucking awful. Alright, we got mom out of the rehab facility. Yeah. <laughs> We're on our way to the bar. <laughs> Talk about 80s. Roof. You're beautiful. Look at you. <laughs> Girl. Look at that hair share. Girl. 80s. I love it. I have never in my life experienced detox this bad. So I've been smoking marijuana consistently since I was 17 years old. I started smoking pot when I was 16, but here and there with friends, it wasn't really that serious. And then I probably got really, really into it um, where I was smoking on a daily basis between 17 and 18 years old. By 18, it was every day, multiple times a day. All of my friends smoked weed. That was top priority. I am 34 now and I can honestly say since I was 17 I probably have gone a total of not smoking weed altogether maybe two or three months altogether and that's counting in vacations that I went on when I couldn't get weed detoxes I, I tried to do in the past and I would clean out my system for a week or two I think the most I did was around like three weeks or four weeks in a row so still not enough to fully detox yourself from a uh, substance like this all the research i've been doing has has said that it, it takes up to 30 days a total of 30 days which makes sense because if you take a drug test they say um it takes 30 days for weed to get out of your system so there's that uh, I didn't realize because we were always told like marijuana isn't addictive it's just a gateway drug and I can honestly tell you that I, I was addicted to it and 
the way that my body is reacting right now without it is proving that I, I, I was, at least in my case, definitely addicted to it. Now, how much weed would I consume? I would smoke bong rips. And when I say bong rips, I mean the... I would... I could probably fill up a bowl three times just on, on myself and clear out the whole chamber with one hit. Um, it's kind of... It's not funny, but, you know, I have... I think pretty sure all my stepkids... Not to throw them under the bus, but I'm pretty sure, you know, they smoke weed and that's always kind of been like a bond with us like cool we can smoke weed together and it used to be a thing with my stepsons like they would think that they could out smoke me and lo and behold mama knows what's up you know but like i'm bragging about it but i would smoke so much weed that i was out smoking my stepsons who are like at the perfect stoner age in their fucking 20s right now and that's not cool. And smoking so much that I wasn't even getting stoned anymore. Well, then I'm going to try to do this all with you guys here. So bear with me. Still talking to you. I just had to run to the store to get um, some stuff for Figaro. Because if I don't give her her special, there's cat soup now. And if she doesn't get her cat soup that she's used to getting every day... I'm going to be in for it, and I'm not trying to have my boss, Figaro, <laughs> I'm not trying to be on her shit list, you know what I'm saying? She's already waiting for me in the window. Can you see her? Can you see her in the window there? Hi, Figaro, mama home. Either her mama or her employee. <laughs> nah, she's a good baby. So, yeah, I'm just going through it. I, uh... I think I'm on day five, I believe. I'm not gonna lie, the first time that I was completely out of it, I was just kind of taking, uh, this sounds nasty, but this is how addictive I was. Hold on. Put the bag down so it's not crinkling in your ear. But I was so addicted to it that I was just hitting the resin off of my bong bowl to get a little buzz from the marijuana and yeah that's not a good thing I don't care who you are that means that you're addicted to it why is the color like this okay there we go I don't know what I just did I don't know what I did so I was watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos I might link below if I remember uh this one guy I found I guess he has a doctorate I just found him like two days ago and uh well, I didn't. I, I discovered him a few days ago. And it kind of, watching this guy's YouTube videos really helped me out because it's like everybody's different. Everybody goes through detox differently depending on how much marijuana you consume and how your system is. And a big thing that he had said was, the, the main thing is, yeah, detox sucks, but being addicted is is worse than, than the detox, and I don't like being dependent on a substance. I don't. You know, you get a little stressed, smoke a bowl. My cat's in the thing. Yes, some of that is for you, but you're not getting it now. You've got to wait. Yes, dear. She's just so cute to not show. Figaro, what are you doing? She's like, I know this is for me in here. <laughs> yes, it's for her. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you little details of what's going on. Um, funny enough, I'm not, even though I'm, I haven't smoked in five days, I don't even feel clear-headed yet. I feel very foggy. I have many uh, sleepless nights. I don't think I've slept more than four or five hours total. And it's not that I'm overly tired. Sorry, it's just my cat. Hi. It's not that I'm overly tired or anything like that. Uh, I just can't sleep. I can't eat. It's very, very difficult for me to eat. I've Marijuana kind of always helped me to eat and get the munchies. I've always been a fairly small person. And uh, when I first started smoking weed, I was really surprised at how much I was able to eat with smoking weed. And I thought that that was kind of cool because I could finally 
eat food when I had so many years of my life, especially my younger teen years, where I just, I don't know if it was because of the whole, that's when the hip huggers were in and heroin chic was a thing. So I tried to be as thin as possible. And then smoke and weed just helped me to eat more, more stuff and not really care. So yeah, but now that I'm not smoking weed, I just, I cannot eat and it's killing me. Man, I gotta eat something. I'm having stomach issues though. Um, so I guess it's probably a good thing that I'm, I'm not really eating a lot of food because I am having like a lot of really um, stomach issues, not really stomach aches, just I guess going TMI, but going to the bathroom has not been the same. Uh, as I was driving home, I was talking to Will on the phone and I just got this like insane hot flash through my body. My hands, my palms have not stopped sweating since I started the detox, which was probably like 24 hours after my last uh, resin hit bowl. And yeah, I'm just been sweating like crazy, going through like hot and cold flashes. Like I'll be cold, but I'll be sweating. Not like flu sick, but it's just, it's a, it's a different, it's a definitely a detox sick. It's just weird. It's a weird feeling, but I know that it's, it's a good thing because it means that things are, it's my body's like, okay, we're trying to get rid of it and we don't know what to do. So my brain's just all over the place. Um, I'm not as irritable as I thought I would be, but then again, I just, I get really irritable right before my period. So I'm on it right now. So thankfully I'm, I'm good with that. And, uh, so I'm not, I'm usually like chill as can be when I'm on my period. So right now I'm pretty chill, but I did have a couple of instances where I just got really frustrated and, um, just got angry and, I just had to tell myself, like, okay, like, just calm down, get get yourself back to center, and I have been surrounding myself, well, I would say for the last couple of years, I've been surrounding myself with really good people, and another thing that really helps is that Will doesn't smoke weed uh, at all, and so that's great. I don't have that temptation while he's here, and my best friend, who you guys seen, just seen, uh, Sherry, she doesn't smoke weed and that helps. I had another girlfriend that I was really close with but she's pregnant right now so she don't obviously she don't smoke weed when she's pregnant so and I, I, haven't, I don't really see her that much anymore anyways but being around people who don't smoke who don't so that 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 temptation is not there has been really beneficial also but I'm just I'm ready to feel clear-headed I'm ready to get this out of my system and see how I am without it because I don't know and I've always I've just used marijuana and cannabis and it was just a part of me a uh, big part of my personality people just kind of associated me with marijuana and here I am I'm just over it I want I want me I want my um my true form. I want to I want to see who she is and I do like myself when I am sober. I just need to get through the detox. So this is uh, my friend's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu studio. It's called Fresh Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So that's there. I just got this today. Then it says it on the back too. I was excited. I'm like, wow, this is a nice little... So I'm walking around like a little Jiu Jitsu, jiu -jitsu girl even though I don't know jujitsu, but I just think that that's cool. So check them out, fresh Brazilian jujitsu. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get off of here. I just wanted to give you guys an update. That was kind of my day. Now I gotta do housewife things, clean the house and whatever, because I've been slacking. And my man does not go to work all day to come home to his wife being a lazy bitch. No, he does not. And my man is so special that he wouldn't say shit. He'd be like, whatever, you had a day, you know? But he goes to work all day. He busts his ass. I would like him to come home to a nice, clean home. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some tunes on, continue my detox, and I'll talk to you guys again. Ciao.